part of a part of Allegheny Cleanway. I'm the coordinator of the Dump Busters program. And uh, we work five or six days a week, 12 months a year. And our aim is to clean up the toughest illegal dump sites in Allegheny County. I started doing this after I retired from uh, cleaner jobs that I did most of my life. And I started doing this on my own, kind of uh, under the radar. I didn't r know of any organizations or other people that did this. I did it for a year by myself. And then I just accidentally uh, uh, came across Allegheny Cleanways and I, I joined them right away because I thought it made more sense to work with an organization rather than to be the, the Lone Ranger. Uh, they should go to the website, www.alleghenycleanways.org, and what they should expect is very hard work that's very satisfying, but is also a lot of fun. I, I tell all the prospective volunteers that if you don't enjoy doing this, you're not going to do it. You're not going to stick with it. You have to find something that's intrinsically satisfying about doing it, and the people that, that do it do really enjoy it. You know, it, uh, I consider it sort of like a, it's a strange hobby. It's not for everybody. But the people who do it really like it. Well, by now, we've been on hundreds of jobs. There are three gigantic jobs that we did in the last few years. One was in the Duck Hollow section, a large area of woods near the Mon River on the edge of Squirrel Hill, and we were there an entire winter season. That was one of the jobs that was supposed to be impossible to complete. In fact, volunteers had worked on it for more than 10 years, and we finished it with a lot of help. Uh, another very large job was in a gigantic wooded ravine, actually two ravines in Westview, outside of the city of Pittsburgh, north. Again, we worked all winter and completed a project that uh, was challenging because there was no vehicle access so all the material had to be hand carried up to 20 minutes long walks through the woods and most of the material was very very heavy and the third job that is memorable to me I, I did with some, bu some dump busters and primarily John Coakley that was a job on Mount Washington where we cleaned a very large area by hand. Again, there was no vehicle access. Thousands of pounds of material had to be hand walked a very long way out of the woods, you know, thousands of feet. And that was in preparation for an expansion of the park and trails in Mount Washington. Excellent. Uh, how many, how many, how big is your organization put that way? Well, the Dump Busters are about 20 people. Okay. Are they all volunteers or? Yeah. They're all volunteers. Yeah, uh, I have a staff position now, but uh, everybody else is a volunteer.